Ooh, the Corby to Manton line. Next bridge down from the tunnel. Oh, look at that. Jamie's going to do some photos. Oh, oh wow. So this is a house, but maybe this is like a station. Can you smell that? I can. Is that something... It's not something you... No, 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 no it's not my body odour, no. Hmm. Oh, I want to have a look. Look at this. It's not even a station. Well, maybe it was a station. Maybe this is the platform here or something. Just here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's one hell of a train spotting spot. Look at that. You get it come round the corner, going down that way towards the viaduct. So I'll tell you what, Jamie, let's go explore the viaduct. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, after so long waiting, we're finally here. And welcome to today's episode of Purple Vision. I have the wonderful Jamie Brady with me. Hello. And we're here at the UK's longest valley spanning viaduct. The Harringworth Viaduct, the Wellen Viaduct, and there's another name that I can't think of. It's taking me Seton. breath away. Is it the Seaton? Seaton it was. Oh, yeah, I remember seeing that and thinking, why, why Seaton? But I think it's probably the name of the engineer who built it. Oh, right. I think. I don't know. No, it was something like that. Yeah, though. yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, we're just going to have a little walk about. We've got the drones on us as well. There are no trains running today. It's Sunday, and I think there's some work going on up at Banton. So, um, yeah. Fly to our heart content, I suppose. Awesome. Should we have a little look about them, yes, mate? mate? Yeah, yeah blooming right. Do, do, do. There's, a lot do, do. Of, there's a lot of walk courses here, isn't there? There is, yeah, loads of them. I mean, look at all the little culverts over the road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Under the road, sorry. Yeah, that's the main river through there, isn't it, where we park? Yeah, the Welland yeah, River. You've got all these little bits of water courses. Look at that viaduct, it just carries on going. Yeah, it's amazing. Isn't it? That really is. And we're only in the middle of it, man. It looks well. That's the middle, isn't it, I suppose, where the river is. Yeah. Pretty much. So, um, Jamie was also saying the, the, the viaduct should actually be all in red brick. But with all the repairs that have done, they've used blue Shropshire brick and painted some of them <laughs> to match. But you can see all the different patches on there from the, the rework of it. It's a bit like Trigger's broom, I suppose. <laughs> well, yeah. That's awesome. It's amazing, isn't it? It really is, mate. 18 metres at its close part, though. So I think the Ribble Head Viaduct is, is taller than this, mate, way taller. I love the Ribble. We, we, it, uh, we, we do, mate. The well. And the way it curves round on the bend as well. And really, I should get out the middle of the road here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's might not be that big, though, is it? Which is nice. No. Oh, look at that. What is that birdie bird? Is it just a pigeon? Look, this what one. Is it? This one here? No, 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 look at that. What is that? It's a kestrel or something. Or a hobby or a peregrine, mm -hmm. maybe. I don't know, it was living oh, up there. Look, look at, at the, there. Um, look at the... Um, the little indents. The indents. And I was reading this morning, these little concrete, sticky outy bits here. Yeah. Every third. Oh, they're, they're, they're to jump out the way. So just in case you're walking along and a train's coming, you can actually step out of the way. A little bit like what we see with the railway tunnels. Yes, I would, I'd imagine so. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Span 59, Harringworth Viaduct, Seaton Road, Harringworth. And Jamie thinks he's seen a peregrine. Oh, wow, look at that. Look at that. That's cool. 
And look how clear that water is. I do like that. Oh, horses. <laughs> look at this thing. <laughs> oh, my days. <laughs> immense look at the size of it I've never seen something grand the sun's right in the eyes there but yeah we're definitely on the wrong side something like 82 arches I think uh, how, this how, is arch how, number how, where the road comes through here is arch number 59 it says on the bridge support there because it doesn't look like we can get that way so we we're going to go to the other end where I remember standing in the field watching a flying Scotsman go Because you're good looking. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Welland River. But Jamie says he's got a footpath. Yeah, let's have a look. We got, we got, we got, we got, we got. Oh, that's, that's a, that's, oh, oh, that's quite cute. Oh, hey up, hey up. Ah, <laughs> Haha, <laughs> trying to film me as I fall over. All railway sleepers. No, they're not. No, they're not. So, yeah, we've come, we've come through with this little style just there. Lovely. And a little bridge to come across. So, now look at the concrete there. Oh, well, it's just concrete. It's I thought it'd be a, a stone arch. Yeah, a new concrete bridge. But... Yeah. And um, we put paths along the side of the river. So, that's nice. Oh, willow. Hmm. <laughs> 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 Hmm. Neither of us put wellies on today. No. Um, I wanted warm feet. Rain, but then we forget that it did rain a lot when it did rain last time. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind, it's all part of the fun. Yeah. Ooh. It's nice to have a bit of a wild explorer here, isn't it?
size of that. Check at all the great nutrients out of the river. I mean, look at the size of that, Jamie. Yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? <laughs> no. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, I've got another style. Ding. Oh. Oh. Ah. Ah, yes. It seems as if we have a footpath. Lovely. Um, I'm a bit fat for that. Oh, oh Mia. Yeah, so we, we were just standing over there, Voxan, and a Brady. <laughs> awesome, look at that. Oh, that's immense. Look at that. Yeah, look. Stunning. And Jamie's going to go down that way. Uh, uh, Jamie, there's concrete on the other side. You see this? What's this, Jamie? I see it from the other side. Uh, is it an old footbridge? That's it. MR, Midland Railway. Uh -huh. So, yeah. maybe it was used for the construction of it? Maybe. But that's more modern, isn't it? That looks more modern. That there is much more modern. The um, Concrete. With the, the Wrigley tin around the outside. That's just to support, oh, yeah. support that, that particular abutment, isn't it? Very strange. Yeah. Hmm. Right. Oh, but it is stunning. Yeah, look, you can wander along here. So, um, before I do go down there, though, I want to go in this field and send the drone up so we get the light on the viaduct. So, um, <laughs> cue Jamie's music with some epic scenes. <laughs>
Oh dear. Okay. <laughs> could be a shepherd's hut, couldn't it? Could be. It's made out of red brick. Let's the shepherd's out. Hello. Hello. Oh. Well, it's got a concrete roof. To be fair, you'd want a concrete roof underneath this bridge. Yeah. Um, yeah, it exactly. could even be a plate layer's hut, bud. Maybe. And if he's got a, a plate yeah, layer, yeah. if he's got to look after a bit of track up there, loads of people have Why been in here. Because uh, he can't keep his tools up on the on the viaduct. This is interesting. It's got concrete above, but this is wood below. And they they formed <laughs> the concrete over this wood. That's very strange, isn't it? <laughs> Let me just check if it's concrete. Was it right? Thank you. Yeah, it is. It's concrete. Yeah, yeah, but I think they've put a concrete. Yeah, weird. <laughs> weird. <laughs> I've only just noticed the echo underneath the bridges. Way. Chimney. Chimney. Yeah, yeah. I'd so it could so. be a plate layer's hut, mate. Yeah. It's very strange to have that sitting there. Yeah. <laughs> There's no reason for it to be a shepherd's hut. It's shepherd's hut when the village is just here either. It's not like he's. Thousands of miles away. Mm. Miles. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed them drone scenes. I just want a few more. We'll go down to the bottom end and see if we can capture the whole viaduct in one scene. A bit close back there, wasn't it? Oh. Oh. Oh! Jamie, 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 Jamie! Right, the foundations are concrete. So that answers the thing that we said earlier on about uh, the concrete. Yeah, where we saw that. So well, let's start at the top. Uh, Building, building the viaduct, 1876, 1878. First brick was laid, March 1876. The first arch commenced, June 1877. What were they doing for those 13 months? <laughs> the arches were finished in July 1878. So they managed to do all of the arches. I suppose oh, wow. they do the pillar first, don't they? Yeah, and yeah. And then do the arches across. Anyway, the whole structure was finished by the end of 1878. So quite late in, in relation to some of the other trains and things. So the foundations of concrete, blue Staffordshire bricks face the structure with other bricks manufactured on the ground and at Pengreen Corby. Which would explain the little pits that we see with fill, yeah, filled yeah, with yeah, water yeah. by the sides. Uh, red bricks have been used for the parapet and for repair work. Okay. Ah, right, there we Once go. Once every three arches there is a projecting parapet pier and a corbelled panel. <laughs> Piers okay. 60 to 82 are in Seaton Parish. The remainder are in Harrington Parish. Okay, and so... And it's Northampton, North North Yes. So, so, yes, so there's 82. Is it 82? Yeah. Yeah. So that, that means that... There's 82. Uh, 60 of them. Yeah, 60 out of 82. Oh, sorry. That's, that's what is that? That's 75%. <laughs> 75% of it is in Northampton. Yes. Oh, um, because Northamptonshire is the greatest place of all, mate. I'm sorry, it's the heart of England, rows of shires. The uh, structure <laughs> contains 30 million bricks. Wow. 20,000 cubic yards of concrete <laughs> and 19,000 cubic feet of stone. But when I was reading about it, it was like the other place that we went, and it, it's actually in somebody's land. At some point, this was like Lord such and such's land. It doesn't say on here, I was hoping it would. Uh, the Welland Viaduct lies between uh, lies on the route between Oakham and Ketrin and carries the twin track non-electrified line between Corby and Manton Junction, Manton, where they're doing work today, yeah. um, where it joins to the Leicester and Peterborough line. Ah, that's why they're using it for mainly freight. So stuff coming from the yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. from the west. Uh, and the, from the east is coming down. So um, the route is generally used for for the passage of freight trains and steam train outings. In early 2009, a single daily passenger service was introduced by East Midlands trains between Melton Mowbray and St Pancras via Corby. The first daily passenger service to operate across the viaduct since the 1960s. Yeah. Well, there's now four. So one, two. Three, four. Yeah. This is what I, this is what I'm really interested in. Go on, go on. Yeah, the you know, navvies. engineers have designed, designed the road. But, so that's the thing. So when we think of these these built bridges, it's always, it's always like you know, Sw what's his name? Swap right, them. Okay, yeah. let's put it that way. <laughs> but you know, like some of the big big bridge builders, like Thomas Telford and mm. what's his name, Isambard Kingdom Brunel. But the people who actually did the work were these people. Yes. And so it's the gangs of navvies to build them. The world na the word navvy comes from the word navigators who built the first navigation canals. Oh, of course. So they moved from the canals like we've said. Oh, Oh, yeah, 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 just moving quarter with the quarter of a million workers, a force bigger than the army and Royal Navy put together, had laid down 3,000 miles of railway lines across Britain. 
And that was by 1850. By, by the standards of the day, they were well paid, but their work was hard and often very dangerous. Tramping from job to job, navvies and their families lived and worked in appalling conditions, often for years on end in rough timber and turf huts alongside the bridges. Now, that's what I was saying over there. They would have lived here. Oh. They would have lived here. Okay, so that's why yeah, that's yeah, why yeah. the earth is so yeah, yeah, rough, yeah, yeah. and may even and explain why, why that little hut is back there. Maybe, that maybe like the, the wage office or something. Maybe it could have been the wages office or oh, something like that. Wow. But yeah, you think about that because uh, uh, Ribblehead, they've done yeah. um, what you call it archaeological stuff underneath, and they can see all, where all the little settlements were because you'd have had. Yeah, you, know, you I mean, would have had loads of people well, around imagine, it. Everyone building the community this. that had come over from Ireland. Ah, with okay. their Irish music and their funny food and all the whatever, they're, you know what I mean? They bring all they'd their be, culture. They'd be living and... in that little area, and then you'd have the Scottish people, and you'd have this. So you'd have all these little communities. It'd have been rough as you like. As well, yeah, yeah. Well, that explains all the earthworks because we thought it was ridge and furrow, but it, it's yeah, it's no. not. It wouldn't. Def it definitely couldn't have been round there. No. But you imagine the thing. You think it about how rough it would have been. Yeah. You know what I mean? You'd have been working twelve, <laughs> fourteen hours a day. There'd have been somebody would have been selling alcohol and booze. I mean, look, and at, look, look at this here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, look how rough it is. All the land. And there'd have been hard men as well. Yeah, I mean real men. None of this. Oh, I can't be bothered. Yeah, exactly. Do you reckon he goes home in, in the evening though? He gets dressed in women's clothes. He could do. <laughs> he could do. Yeah, you never know. He just doesn't identify as a woman. <laughs> <laughs> My name's Steve, not Stella. <laughs> I do like wearing little women's underwear. But... All right, Jamie. All right, mate. There he goes. <laughs> Thank you.